So on the previous slide, we already showed what the homology groups associated with the particular parts would be like with zeros and the boundaries. Here we will actually write down the long exact sequence. Now an important point to remember is that these are co-chain complexes. These are not chain complexes. So to remind you the difference, in chain complexes we went from say Bn to Bn minus 1 and here we are going to go from Bn to Bn plus 1. Now this is an important difference. So in the long exact sequence of homology groups, we initially went from Hn to Hn minus 1. Here we will go from Hn to Hn plus 1 precisely because here we are going shifting to a higher dimension. From Bn we are going to Bn plus 1. So yeah, so the above short exact sequence of chain complexes or I should say co-chain complexes yields the following sequence. So this looks exactly like the homology sequence except that the indices instead of decreasing instead of going from Hn to Hn minus 1 we will go from Hn to Hn plus 1 and uh, I will make it more clear in a minute. And this is the boundary map, this curved boundary map. Then we go to Hn plus 1. Yeah, so instead of Hn minus 1, you are going to Hn plus 1 precisely because we are going from Bn to Bn plus 1. And so on, yeah. So let us for a minute talk about the boundary map. The boundary map which is connecting the homology groups of Z star and B star. So you have already seen that uh, this boundary map corresponds to the inclusion map. Yeah, so inclusion map takes Bn to Zn and boundary maps takes Zn star to Bn star. Yeah, you already remember from the last slide that Hn plus 1 B star is Bn. Yeah, and Hn B star is Bn minus 1. So this you should uh, go back to the previous slide and see how did it come about. So these are dual to the inclusion map. Yeah, inclusion map is bn into zn obviously image in the kernel and dual map is opposite so i'm just now going to rewrite the homology groups associated yeah this we wrote on the previous slide so now i'm just filling up the diagram Yeah, it should be n here and then we have z star n plus 1 and so on. Yeah, so you see that this boundary map D is nothing but dual to the inclusion map because inclusion map will be Bn to Zn. Bn is the boundary within the zeros or image in the kernel which yeah, which obviously follows from the definition of homology groups. Now, I wanted to say that why are we going from Hn to Hn plus 1. So let us write down the corresponding cohomology groups. Yeah, this is precisely what we did in homology. Yeah, so this is same construction of map. So this construction of map, as you can see, you take an element phi 0 in Zn star, you lift it to the cochain complex Cn. Yeah, so you can lift it because the map from Cn star to Zn star is surjective. 
apply delta to it you get delta phi which is obviously phi delta by the definition and this gets lifted to phi so you see the map is nothing but a restriction of phi to bn yeah because phi is acting on cn star and this is nothing but restriction to bn we are just talking about why boundary map is dual to the inclusion map so yeah so as you can see this is nothing much the first step is that uh, you lift up phi not to phi apply map delta then remove the delta behind it so yeah I mean simply the net effect is nothing but restricting phi 0 from Zn to Bn obviously Zn contains Bn yeah Zn is the kernel and Bn is the image So now we come to further explaining how these this long exact sequence behaves. Yeah, our purpose is to completely understand how the extension groups, X groups come about. So this we have already talked about the inclusion map Bn to Zn leads to this boundary map from Zn star to Bn star. We just saw the construction on the previous slide where phi 0 was lifted to phi yeah, by a series of steps. So yeah, naturally you now we are breaking the long exact sequence into short exact sequences. Yeah, This is the standard procedure. You start with the co-kernel then you have the kernel and then you have zero yeah so you get the following short exact sequence the purpose is to show that this kernel of i star is isomorphic to the dual of homology group okay so now it's now started what is the kernel of this map kernel of i and star kernel of i and star is all those maps phi getting mapped to zero this phi is acting on what this is act this is a map from zn to g yes so this goes to the zero map from bn to g yeah the zero map is from bn to g so this is so this is nothing but phi is nothing but a homomorphism which vanishes on bn yeah after all bn is con is contained within zn yeah image is contained within the kernel image of delta is in the kernel of delta so that comes from the chain complex definition yeah so this vanishes on bn so instead of writing zn to g we could write zn modulo bn to g because anyway the maps are going to vanish on bn but Zn by Bn is nothing but the homology group. So, and this map Zn modulo Bn to G, this is nothing but homomorphism from homology groups to G. So, the only thing left is to study the co kernel. So, to study this co kernel, let us consider this short exact sequence which is associated with this co kernel. Yeah, so we have to study this co-kernel. So you just consider this natural short exact sequence. Yeah, you start with the boundaries, which is naturally contained in the kernel or the cycle, boundary contained in the cycle or image contained in the kernel, the natural surjection map, 
yeah so this is what we have naturally yeah so natural short exact sequence now to get i star n minus 1 you have no option but to dualize it and you have the dual of the homology group here yeah which is nothing but homomorphisms from hn minus 1 c to g now the idea is this now if the sequence is exact here that is exact at b star n minus 1 then i star n minus 1 is surjective yeah so this is always true because if it's exact at b star n minus 1 then i star n minus 1 is surjective because the image has to get mapped to the kernel and the kernel is entire d star n minus 1. So if i star n minus 1 is rejective because of the short exact sequence that would mean that co-kernel i star n minus 1 is 0. So under what circumstances is this dual chain exact? So the simplest thing is if h n minus 1 c is free then the first exact sequence at 0 to bn minus 1 to zn minus 1 to hn minus 1 c to 0 is split and that would imply that the dual sequence is also split now i have written this hn minus 1 3 is free implies that its dual is free i don't know if this is true <coughs> so you probably need to check this but uh, this is not required for this thing you can just see if the first sequence here splits that is sequence containing bn minus 1 to zn minus 1 to hn minus 1 c to 0 splits then if you take take its dual it also splits yeah because dual is uh, yeah homomorphism of a plus b comma g is nothing but homomorphism of a plus homomorphism of b comma g this we have shown before yeah you can see that this thing splits So the point we are trying to make is that this co-kernel i star n minus 1 is not always 0. So that would be true if the dual is not always exact. So let us give a simple example when dual is not exact. Say this simple short exact sequence. Yes, so you dualize it. That is... Uh, you take the final landing group as z. So homomorphisms from the first z to z is z then again homomorphism from z to z is z homomorphism from z2 to z is 0 multiplication by 2 remains now you see this is not exact here why is that the kernel of this map on the left is 0 this kernel of this map is just the entire ring of integers and the image is here is 2z so you can calculate the homology group or the cohomology group of this chain complex which will be z over 2z or z2 now notice that homology groups have to be zero for the chain complex to be exact so uh, yeah so that is it